Diseases of the liver, pancreas and, and biliary system are, are very challenging and I think in my general surgical training that's definitely the area in which I had the least exposure so that always remained not a mystery but, 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 a, but a field that I would like to explore further. The rest of general surgery like, such as breast endocrine surgery, vascular surgery, emergency surgery have all kind of taken themselves out of the general surgical field and, and formed subspecialty units and within the abdomen we tend to specialize in either the colorectal diseases or in the upper abdominal, upper GI or hepatobiliary diseases and I, always, I think for me that's some of the very interesting conditions that are very challenging to treat and to operate on. It, it's, a, it's a combination of using your brain and developing skills in your hands that, that you use together to treat patients and what I'm really passionate about is that w when that comes together you know, patients do very well, but especially in the field that I'm sub-specializing in at the moment, if, if the surgery and the decision making is not correct, patients suffer a lot and I'm passionate about, about finding that balance and offering patients, um, you know, almost perfect but, you know, good quality health care. I think what, what Discovery is doing is brilliant and it's nice to see such a big company that does so well that has a real conscience and wants to give back to, to the medical fraternity and also to the people, people of the country. That they are making a real difference in training extra subspecialists into their field and, and supplying more doctors to the field. Um, when, I, when I finished my general surgical training, I had basically two choices and that was either to go into private practice and be a general surgeon or to stay on at the training hospital I was and do more or less general surgery and as I've I've really wanted to, to become a subspecialist in the hepatobiliary field, you need to go somewhere to train. And unfortunately, there aren't a lot of posts available to do exactly the type of training that I want to do. Firstly, because there aren't many hospitals that offer it. And secondly, because there's not a lot of, there's no funding to, no extra funding to actually go and pay a salary for somebody who wants to subspecialize. So they basically, support me while I'm doing two years of subspecialty training without that it wouldn't have been possible. There's such potential to offer great quality health care in this country. You know, I think the basic health care for, for a person who doesn't have medical aid and no income is better than it is in a lot of places in the world and the treatment that you get at a hospital for, like this for instance is really up to standard, it's world class and there's nothing wrong with it and I'd like to see that quality of healthcare continue in this country, but it needs to be generalized to people who live in all areas.